Baptist Memorial Healthcare provides health care to thousands of people throughout the Mid South. Baptist is marking its centennial throughout 2012. In today's cover story, Rod Starnes shows us how the hospital got started. What began in the early 1900s as a single modest building grew to become the largest privately owned hospital in the world. These wonderful medical facilities firmly establish the medical leadership of our town. They are modern in every respect. Despite economic challenges and even threats from fire and water, the hospital eventually branched out across three states, touching countless lives. I was attended by some of the most caring individuals that, uh, that I've ever known. Baptist Memorial Healthcare has stood at the forefront of modern medicine, bringing the latest innovations to the Mid-South year after year. Baptist Hospital was one of the first to make this medical advancement available in the United States. Join us as we take a look back at memorable moments in the history of Baptist with some of the people who worked here and some of the patients they served. They made it a very, a very special time for me. It was a wonderful memory. Wonderful memories of Baptist through 100 years of care. Memphis at the beginning of the 20th century was growing rapidly after recovering from deadly yellow fever epidemics. With a population now past 100,000, the city establishes a park commission and makes plans to build a zoo. But malaria is still an annual plague tuberculosis the leading cause of death, and only 500 hospital beds for the entire region. The first hospital in this community was the city hospital. And when it became uh, just totally inadequate for needs, its directors bought a 10-acre site outside the city limits to build another city hospital. And that's the 10 acres that we know as Forest Park. And that was key in determining the location of the medical center. The need for more hospital beds, especially for charity care, prompts the pastor of a small new church called Bellevue Baptist to preach a sermon in 1906 that would create a lasting impact. The time has come for the people of Memphis and the Tri-States to undertake another work for our suffering brothers. A new hospital, open to all who are sick and in pain. Baptist church leaders from across the Tri-State area agree to raise the $235,000 needed for construction. They talk about the cake bakes they had and the church collections they had. The Memphis College of Physicians and Surgeons which is about to become the University of Tennessee Medical School, donates land nearby. They wanted a hospital adjacent to the medical school for the training of uh, interns. The seven-story, 150-bed Baptist Tri-State Hospital opens its doors on what was then the edge of town on July 22, 1912. Forty of the beds are reserved for patients who cannot afford to pay. It uh, opened its doors with the mission of uh, following the threefold ministry of Christ, that of preaching, teaching, and healing. About two weeks after the hospital opens, the first baby is born there, a girl. 23 years later, she gave birth to her own child at Baptist, a boy. She was proud that she was the first baby. And uh, me, my brother, and my sister were all born in Baptists. At the same time the hospital opened, so did its school of nursing with about two dozen students. And they lived and worked in the hospital and they were taught by physicians. By the time they were juniors, uh, they were head nurses on uh, wards. They felt they were running the hospital. But in 1914, most of the nursing students are sent home. Without enough paying patients to fill all the beds, the hospital is deeply in debt and preparing to close after just two years. Of course, Baptist went on to become one of the largest hospital systems in the world. Watch for more about the history of Baptist later this year, right here on WKNO.